What's up guys, it's Lauk. I'm pretty sure you've known that by the time you clicked on the video, but um, yeah, you know, I just want, I just want to talk for a moment, okay? In the background, there may be some gameplay of sorts, you know, whatever, but um, I want to get into a topic of mine. You see, yesterday I asked you guys to tweet or comment on the video who your favorite YouTuber was. You know, I got plenty of response. I got Frankie on PC, Nick Bunyan, PewDiePie, you know, just all sorts of great, great quality YouTubers, you see, but what I wasn't expecting were some of the tweets that I got instead of YouTubers, you see. Someone actually did something that was one of the worst things I've ever seen from my YouTube experience, and please never do this again if you're watching this video, never do it without photos or with photos, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna get straight into it. I don't want to talk about this too much because it's not very appealing. You know, you're not going to want to hear it too much, so I'm just going to get right into it, get past it, just address it, so I I don't even know why I have to address this. I, uh, this is ri ridiculous, you see. So someone literally, and I mean literally, without any any bit of, you know, not literalness, I guess, whatever, you know, they literally cut my name into their body. See, cutting is horrible. I'm completely against that. I'm completely against violence, cutting, suicide, all that stuff. None of that's good, you know, so if you're watching this video, please don't do that again. Don't ever do it again and send pictures. Don't, you know, just don't do it in general, okay? It's not good. And, you know, suicide, nothing to joke about, you know, uh, just please don't do that. You see, now that we're past that topic, let's go into a bit of a lighter and darker topic at the same time. You see, CSGO, you know it's a game, Counter-Strike has been a series for, it, has it almost been 20 years? I'm pretty sure it came out like 1999 or something. Whatever. So you see, Counter-Strike's been a game for almost 20 years now, but uh, Global Offensive obviously came out 2012, and that's the first game where they introduced skins, and I don't think skins came out immediately, I'm pretty sure it took a bit. You see, it's one of the greatest things Valve has done from a marketing standpoint, they're getting just buttloads of money from a thing that's like borderline, it's like a loophole to gambling, whatever, is the case openings, they're pretty much slot machines, if you saw H3H3's video, you should know what I'm talking about by now. You see, but gambling has always been something different, okay? Gambling was something that I usually stayed away from. I've done it a little bit, but not too much, because I know the consequences, and I I'm, I just don't want to do it, you know? It's it's not me. You see, I always see people on YouTube doing it, whatever, all these other people. But you see, gambling in the North America for CSGO is pretty much banned now. If you try to go on CSGO Wild, you can, unless like, you're using like a really good VPN or something. So, you know, gambling, not so great anymore. Or it never really was, but... You know, there's been a whole lawsuit for, I think, Valve, where a man actually tried to sue Valve for helping out these websites with gambling, whatever, meanwhile it's all, like, super underage, so all these websites are pretty much done for, you know, like, gambling's pretty much dying in Counter-Strike, but you see, that doesn't stop Team Martin and Syndicate, who, you know, promote this website called CSGO Lotto, which they're actually the owners of, and they act like they don't, you see, they make all these videos promoting the website, telling their fans to go check out the website, but they're being untruthful, you know, they're not telling everyone that they're the real owners of it. So, you know, they, they could be doing whatever they want. You see, it's just morally incorrect for the owner of a gambling website to actually be gambling on his own website. Because, you know, you never know, he could be the one, you know, rigging the odds. I'm not claiming that he is. I'm just saying it is possible, especially with the shady stuff that they've been doing with this website. You know, T-Martin even was making it seem like, oh, you know, we're getting a sponsorship from this website, you know, it's going to be great, whatever. But meanwhile, since the start, he's been one of the owners, the presidents, with Syndicate being the vice president. You see, here's the thing, though. I used to play Call of Duty, okay? I used to love to watch Syndicate all the time. I watched his Minecraft stuff, like with Maya Knight, whatever. I watched his, you know, zombie runs. I've been to his charity live streams. I've also been watching Team Martin for a really long time, you know, ever since, like, I think MW3, or it might have been Black Ops 2, I don't quite remember, but I've been watching his videos, so just to see this, like, change in them, like, Tom, especially Syndicate, used to be, like, such, like, a genuine, like, nice person, or whatever, but he's just been getting himself involved with all this shady stuff, and I don't know, I don't think it's really that good for him, his channel, or, like, really anything. They're, both of them are just losing subscribers now. It's not as bad as Drama Alert, where they're losing, like, a few hundred thousand, but, you know, it's still, it's not good, okay? Their channels are not dying, but, you know, they're just kind of plateauing and diving down a tiny bit. You know, that's that. You know, it's, I know it's the day after, okay? I'm, I'm not a, an idiot, but, uh, happy 5th of July, I guess, now. You know, 4th of July, hope you guys spent that with your family, or friends, or 
Just hope you guys are being responsible and safe, not drinking and driving or setting off firecrackers that are too dangerous. You see, I set off some firecrackers with a few friends of mine, although I didn't drink, obviously. I didn't drive, you know, both things that would be illegal for me to do anyway. Combine that and that's even more illegal for me. But, you know, I just hope you guys had a great 4th of July and, um... That's pretty much the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Howdy. Wait a moment! No, I want to put a question in here. I forgot to ask this question. See, I want to know what your guys' favorite game of all time is. It, you don't have to still play, you know, you could not have played it for, I don't know, six years of your life. I just want to know what your favorite game of all time is. And I also want to know what you'd rate that game, too. Like, if you'd rate it 0 to 10, you know, hopefully it wouldn't be 0 to 10, or else it would not be your favorite game, but, you know... Do whatever you want, tweet it out to me, post it in the comments of the YouTube. If you guys tweet it out to me, the chance of me seeing it is pretty much 100% because I'm always on Twitter now. So if you guys tweet it out to me, then I'll see it and I'll like it. And so yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Adios.